Thank you for welcoming us in your home. Siya bongo usamgela ekaya lako. We are based in Whitbank, Emma Lachlan, Connor Elizabeth and Ford Trekker. If you want to get anything powerful on TV that carries your answer, your solution and the breakthrough, obo kolo utungkulukulu so nigas yona, well, your time has come with Prophet Manda Kuzwayo. Do me a favor. Get the pen and the paper ready because kuna information and so nigas yona throughout the show eba legi lek fanu ipali pans. God bless you. See you next short while. In the year 2019, for some of you in your business, you are coming back. How thin are you the lady from last week? Yes, Lord, we are born. Yeah. We are born. Mm -hmm. That woman, as I turn and go, you'll see what she's gonna do. <laughs> Let's do the wait, Exodus 2. And verse number 15. Now when Pharaoh heard this thing, he sought to slay Moses. But Moses fled from the face of Pharaoh and dwelt in the land of Midian. And he sat down by a well. I'm going to read it again. Now when Pharaoh heard this thing, he sought to slay Moses. But Moses fled from the face of Pharaoh and dwelt in the land of Midian and he sat down by a well. I want to minister to you on a subject despite your fall, let's meet at Galilee. Despite your fall, let's meet at Galilee. Nanoma Uzoa, go to Gupi. Despite your fall, let us meet at Galilee. The book of Exodus is one of the interesting chapters because we see a man who is willing to lose it all for the sake of the truth. And that truth is the calling that the Lord has embedded in his heart even though he doesn't know it yet and his name is Moses. The Lord has raised him up to be a deliverer. However, this Moses has a challenge because he does not grow up from among his people he grows up in the house of the enemies of his people you know he is a hebrew but growing up in a house of an egyptian in the palace of egypt however jehovah has called him to be a deliverer of the very people that the egyptians were oppressing very very strange the Bible says that he's up there in the palace, but something on the inside does not sit well with him because any man with a calling, they will tell you there is something that doesn't give you peace. Especially when you see things that you are called into and you see them in chaos and in disorder, you feel like you can do something. So was with Moses. The Bible says that uh, when he was 40 years old, he came out of a palace and he went down to 
to just go and check his people out and the bible says that he saw an egyptian abusing a hebrew person and the bible says he ended up killing this egyptian uh, protecting a hebrew somebody and the bible says he buried an egyptian and he went back to a palace and the bible says the following morning he came out just checking on his people he found two hebrews quarreling with each other and moses tried to intervene and the bible says that one of the hebrew people said you want to kill me the same way you killed an egyptian yesterday and bury me you know what don't ever think that your secret is not known i know all about you your dirty closet and i'm gonna report you to pharaoh and the bible says that eventually news reached pharaoh and Pharaoh was like, Moses, I'm going to kill you. And Moses was forced to forsake palace and go and find himself in a wilderness of Midian. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Now let's break the scripture down to its lowest denominator. This is a man who grew up in a palace. He knows nothing about suffering. He knows nothing about being a servant to anybody. Because as a matter of fact, Moses was next in line to the throne of Egypt. He was going to be the next pharaoh. You can imagine somebody growing up in a palace. He's used to all the privileges. He's used to all the luxuries of Egypt. But because of the calling on his life, he finds himself being demoted from the palace. And he finds himself right in the desert, right in the middle of the wilderness of Midian. Median. I understand if you are rising from the desert and you are on your way to the palace but this is a very sad situation because this is somebody who grew up in a palace and all of the sudden he finds himself in the wilderness now if you understand anything about Egypt being a superpower at that time you will understand that they had all the, the facilities and everything else in terms of power to take Moses down but when they heard that Moses is in the wilderness of Midian to Egypt that was the worst punishment over because ever rather because this is a man who used to be in a palace but now he is a fugitive somewhere in the wilderness to Pharaoh Moses being out there in the wilderness is a punishment and he does not see Pharaoh he does not see Moses rather rising he does not see Moses be resuscitating himself from the wilderness because it is the worst place ever for Moses this is a man who's never been in the wilderness you know pharaoh is thinking to himself i don't know how he's gonna survive because this is a soft boy he's used to a luxurious life so wilderness is going to kill him but let me tell you something jehovah was 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 having a purpose about the life of moses and it is god who allowed moses to be in the wilderness if you understand something about moses being in the wilderness he spent 40 years in the wilderness in isolation the reason why he was in the wilderness 40 years it is because he was going to deliver the children of israel and take them through the wilderness for 40 oh okay okay i'm, I'm gonna preach it i'm gonna preach it now understand god will never allow you to deliver people and then you take them through the wilderness when you know nothing about the wilderness i i i i knew it some of you were going to get lost look at Moses in the wilderness the Bible says Jethro hired him to be a shepherd over his livestock so he took care of the natural sheep he knew how to find the pastures the green pastures for the sheep using a natural method of doing that he knew how to get water for the sheep using a material natural method when the sheep were thirsty in the wilderness but because God is preparing him Moses is gonna lead the people and and, and through the wilderness but this time around there will be no shops in the wilderness there will be no way of growing crops in the wilderness the same way Moses took care of the natural sheep using natural methods leading them through the wilderness he's going to take care of the children of God but this time no longer using natural methods of feeding them but using supernatural methods of feeding them. if Moses did not die in the wilderness the children of Israel are not going to die in the wilderness i'm talking to somebody now probably you have gone down from the palace and you find yourself somewhere in the wilderness and you're asking yourself what am i doing here 
how can things be so bad how can i deteriorate to the level so bad let me tell you something you know sometimes you'll never meet god in the palace sometimes for you to meet god you must be in the wilderness but the wilderness is not so that it will kill you the wilderness is so that it will train you moses did not meet with god when he was in the palace but once he was in the wilderness of which that's where he's calling was going to be he met with father god are you listening to what i'm saying i'm talking to somebody now you used to be up there but something happened and it brought you down and you feel like you will never rise again but let me tell you something jehovah will never allow you to go into the wilderness when he does not know how to take you out of the wilderness and go back into pharaoh and face that pharaoh i want to preach to somebody despite your fall if pharaoh thought that you were going to die in the the wilderness he has another thing coming because he's gonna see you entering with Moses and this time with with Aaron and this time you are no longer just Moses but you are a God before Pharaoh and your brother Aaron is a prophet standing next to you and Pharaoh will ask himself how did you survive the wilderness and you will tell him the God I serve he knows how to fetch me despite my fall in the wilderness I want to preach to somebody now they thought that you will never rise again they thought that this is the end but they have another thing coming because you are about to come out of the wilderness and you are about to show up before pharaoh and you are about to turn his kingdom upside i feel it oh i feel it despite your fall you will show up again there are people here the job is no longer in your life you lost your job and that devil is like you see you are in the wilderness how are you gonna come out of it you see no money now you used to be in the palace but look at you now you used to be up there but look at you now you used to have a lot of resources and life going for you but look at you now but tell that devil wait a minute the god i serve is about to set my bushes on fire you know the bush is gonna be on fire and the bush oh, the bush being on fire is gonna catch my attention and i'm gonna go like let me go and see this wandering side and the voice of jehovah will speak out of the tree and say moses take off your sandals because the ground upon which you are standing is the holy ground and i'm getting ready to send you back to pharaoh but this time around the same pharaoh who was chasing you he's gonna run away from you why because in the wilderness you met me jehovah take the stick in your hand and turn the kingdom i'm talking to somebody 2019 is a year of coming back ay, 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 ay. i said 2019 for some of you financially you are coming back in the year 2019 for some of you in your business you are coming back oh, yes. 2019 for some of you you've been sick and living on pills but in the year 2019 somebody holla i'm back i'm back and i'm back and i'm back I believe you are blessed to be a blessing in in God and the community church I have the most important department of the ministry and it is the helping hand ministry through the helping hand ministry we are buying groceries for the elders number two we are buying school uniform for the needy children number three we are clothing the naked we've been doing that for the past 10 years with our limited resources I need people out there who believe that I am blessed to be a blessing to partner with me every month for the next 12 months not for life from as little as 200 rands a month and the bible says in the book of luke 12 and 48 to whom much is given much is required if god has blessed you much please be my partner for 500 rands for the next 12 months not for life and help me take care of the needy number two i need tv partners somebody who's going to help me with my tv subscription i need to move from a 30 minute slot to an hourly slot if that is you i have put your partners on three categories 200 rands 
500 rands as well as a thousand rands for the next 12 months if you are saying prophet i want to keep you on tv because we want to see more of the anointing of god you are welcome to do that as once you have made the deposit either on standard bank or fnb please whatsapp us or on the number that you see on the screen the proof of payment along with your prayer request or send us an email of your proof of payment on the email address appearing on the screen along with your prayer request as you partner with me in in financially i want to partner with you in prayer when i pray god hears my prayer god bless you shalom see you in a short while i want to do something But it's cut as a Okay. But because of red cells, red yeah. copper cells. All right. You see this? How thin the legs are. Pains all over. Oh, that is in those ends again. Imegoya, Imegoya. Father, in the name of Jesus, you see, this is where you you get a wake up call. Ubon guti awus pileli wen. Yes. Awus pile. I thank God for Jesus. Oh yes. Thank God because. We get to see all these kinds of things, but over and above, we get to witness the power of Jehovah. Oh, yes. Power of Jehovah. See, now all these pains. <sighs> Mighty name of Jesus. You will pain, man. You will be pain, man. I start to really pain. Oh, yes. Yeah, Jesus. What is Megalin, 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 Megalin? The God of my father, the God of Prophet M. Kuzai, the God of my papa. Yeah! That's my father, Jesus. The God of my father. Doctors could not help him and they could not deal with it. There is a God in heaven. Deliverance is starting now as I put my mantle on her head. Watch what the Spirit of the Lord will do. As deliverance is taking place, I want to encourage our viewers to connect right now. Connect to the power of deliverance that is happening right now. I want to keep her in the Control Control 
I'll send up to Omashi. I need this to calm down. So then I just bump to over, bump to over, bump to over. Let us go around it. Let it go fast. Next week we'll be here. Next week we'll be here. Hello, Bujali. Are you the lady from last week? Yes. Love you, my boy. Yeah. We are going to match. Yeah, boy. We're together. Tony Black and White. Alright, Then last week was so meaning they could not help you. I'm mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And then more figure like then I my baby size. Mm -hmm. Oh Jesus! Mm -hmm. If you are not a wish, step your hands first. See, I see a woman from Salanigashi. That woman, as I turn and go, you'll see what she's gonna do. It's your first time here. Oh, you always come here. Okay. Oh, you are always here. Yes. You are always here. You fellowship here? Are you still visiting? Uh, due to um, transport money, I cannot come every Sunday. You cannot come every Sunday. You're not working. I do work. So you broke, but you're working. Yes. Do you give your 10%? Yes. I, I just started. Rest. You just started. No more being broke, you'll see that. Amen. <laughs> no more being broke. The Lord says, you see, I see renting, 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 renting. Amen. You hear me? Amen. I see renting, 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 renting. I do rent. You are renting. Yes. Prophesy, men of fire. But this renting thing, it was a stress due to these financial constraints in, yes. the, in, in time past. This renting problem. 
Guess what? What? What is a challenge to you now, this renting thing? It's your anointing. Property is all over you. Ah. I don't know whether she's renting or something. Are you sure you're renting? Papa, it... to buy a land in Cape Town for estates. Me and my partners. You are going to buy a piece of a land and then you build uh, estates. A yes. state. Wow. Yes. Go to seven. Man fire prophesy. The God I serve has just opened it because I see you had there is struggle, struggle and the Lord said what she doesn't know is that I was making her to be strong so that because it's your anointing. I also, I also have a land back at home. It's about seven hectares. Uh -huh. uh, 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 we're going to build a camping and You're going to, It's a success because I have said it. Oh, yes! See, Kasha. You see now, this woman loves God. She loves God. God says, I must tell you, she's heard your prayers. You see this partner thing, partner thing that you are doing? It's just for a season because you must learn some ropes. But you will go solo. You will count serious money. Sakro Tahashia. There is a prophet in Whitbank. Oh, yes. I am a psychologist and a teacher by profession. Oh, oh yes, oh, prophesy. prophesy. The wind will carry your name to the east, and it will carry your name to the north. I see two schools opening for you. Yes, daddy. You hear me? Yes, daddy. Two what? Schools. schools opening for you. And the Lord said, "I'm coming through for you to an extent. You you will make a choice." Come here, 28. What are you doing at school? I'm a teacher. Yeah, two schools will open. Professor, men of fire. But what you are going to see now. You are a teacher without a job, right? Yes. Cancelled in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. There are two angels carrying this daughter of mine. One is carrying you to the east and the other is carrying you to the north. It is well. God and a community church is a legally tax exempted registered organization. I'm talking to those running businesses and doing companies with an interest of making a donation into the God and the community church. Uh, this means that for every donation that is going to be made from the companies and businesses into the God and the community church shall be tax deductible. This means that it will give you tax relief with SARS. It will work for your advantage. So if you are interested into, in making, into making a, a, a um, a donation into our organization we are willing to make available to you uh, the, our tax exempted number so that you can give it to your lawyer so that they can verify it and validate it god bless you even as you do that number two in in the god and the community church we have what we call a daily devotion that is called the daily dose contained in our daily dose is the message for the day as well as a prophetic declaration from the prophet as well as a prayer point it will cost you 60 rands uh 
shipping and handling is already included place your order we will make that available to you we will courier that to you god bless you even as you do that number two we have what we call the anointed uh, materials you know the wristband and the other anointed materials from the prophet if you believe in power ministry you understand what that is all about before i get out of the way i just want to pray for you god bless you no weapon fashion against you shall be able to prosper i decree this will be the most blessed week of your life in jesus name amen and amen thank you for watching and to our partners and friends join us next time same place same channel god bless you shalom we love you